Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, good morning, it's still morning. Today I have the pleasure of introducing a very special guest, the first Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Czech Republic, Mr. Karol Schwarzenberg. As I'm sure you already know, he's a remarkable personality of the Czech political scene and a strong supporter of human rights and of the European Union. He was a Czech senator from 2004 to 2010 and had a first term as a Minister of Foreign Affairs between January 27 and uh, 07 and May uh, 2009. His current position in the government resulted from the general elections in 2010 when he successfully led a newly formed Conservative Party, Top 09, to a 16% share in the election's outcome, with a, which is, we have to recognize, a, an extraordinary achievement. Following this success, he contributed to creating a right-wing governing coalition with the Civic Democrat Party and the Public Affairs Party. Minister Schwarzenberg's political agenda includes a strong stance in advocating human rights and democracy, a fact which is, I believe, also strongly influenced by his personal experience in exile in the aftermath of the World War II. His endeavors dedicated to the promotion of these noble values rep represent an, an emblem of the anti-communist struggle of the countries behind the Iron Curtain, as well as for the efforts to return to the European democratic family. Born in Prague in 1937, Mr. Schwarzenberg had to leave the country with his family after the communist coup of 1948 and emigrated to Austria. He studied law and forestry at the universities of Vienna, Munich and Graz. Following the Prague Spring, Mr. Mr. Schwarzenberg be became a leading voice against the communist regime in Czechoslovakia and a prominent human rights activist. From 1984 to 1991, he chaired the International Helsinki Committee for Human Rights, actively promoting the improvement of human rights in the Eastern Bloc countries. In recognition of his remarkable deeds, he received the prestigious Human Rights Award of the Council of Europe in 1989, together with Lech Walesa. In 1986, he founded uh, in the Documentation Center for the Promotion of Independent Czechoslovak Literature in West Germany, one of the most notable Czechoslovak exile institutions during the later half of the 20th century, which continues being active as a research center on the history of the, the anti-totalitarian resistance in Czechoslovakia and abroad during the communist era. Minister Schwarzenberg is also a longtime friend of former President Václav Havel. Beyond their close friendship, they worked together between 1990 and 1992 when Mr. Schwarzenberg was the chancellor of, Czechoslo of Czechoslovak President Havel. The consolidation of democracy and respect for human rights in Central Europe after the fall of communism did not lessen his commitment to promoting these values in other areas of the world. In May, May 2005, Mr. Schwarzenberg was expelled from Cuba when, uh, where he was due to meet dissidents opposed to the Cuban president, Fidel Castro. Subsequently, he constantly pressed for a stronger EU stance on human rights in Cuba. At the same time, he is among, among the most vocal European political leaders when it comes to human rights violations in countries that were parts of the Soviet Union, especially Belarus. I would like to publicly express my appreciation for Minister Schwarzenberg as one of the most active European diplomats in promoting human rights globally. It is thanks to his involvement that this issue has become a top priority for the foreign policy of his country. In a happy coincidence with his dedication to human rights and democracy, Minister Schwarzenberg celebrates his birthday on December 10, the International Human Rights Day. Besides promoting human rights, he is also a well-known supporter of the European Founding Fathers' visionary project of a united Europe. 
his widely recognized and respected voice tirelessly pleads for the integration of the countries in the Western Balkans and in Eastern Europe in the European Union. So I'm personally very honored and happy to have you here, Minister Schwarzenberg, and uh, uh, I give you the floor. Minister <clears throat> Schwarzenberg, I would like to thank you for your enlightening remarks. I was very uh, impressed by the courage to make a direct reference to the four mountains theory. <laughs> um, all you have said is uh, a proof that uh, true, truly uh, conservat uh, true conservatives are uh, a mix of uh, a realistic view on what's happening in the world around us and uh, also of uh, wisdom. I was also very interested by uh, your good, the, the good sense behind this uh, idea that small and medium countries uh, should uh, develop a niche diplomacy and get some uh, specific expertise uh, to make their voice uh, well more clear in uh, the international uh, the current international um, affairs and um, also um, it is important for us to learn from your ngos which which are maybe much more interested by international affairs and action abroad, uh, for instance, uh, in this uh, field of human rights protection, which is not uh, really the case of our NGOs here in Romania. So I would like to suggest that uh, a closer cooperation between uh, our <coughs> NGOs uh, dedicated to human rights and uh, the Czech NGOs uh, should be uh, productive. Uh, I'm, uh, I would like also to, to thank you for your constant interest in the <coughs> uh, effectiveness of the Eastern Partnership, because as you might know, uh, Romania is uh, with Poland and Sweden very much involved in this, even we, if we have in view also different complementary tools uh, like the Black Sea Synergy, for instance, uh, in this collective will of the new member states uh, to promote democracy uh, in our immediate vicinity. I would also like uh, to praise your uh, action as a chairmanship in office of the Visegrad Group. Romania would uh, uh, like to, to be more close to this format, and maybe it is high time for all the new member states to reshape this um, idea of uh, regional cooperation and consultation in European affairs. And uh, I can uh, also, before uh, opening the floor to questions and answers, um, as we have here a lot of young diplomats uh, and ambassadors, uh, to ensure you that we will uh, work uh, jointly, uh, very closely, um, within the Human Rights Council in, uh, in Geneva. And um, I once again thank you for all you have said uh, to us today.